Hello out there. Uh, today, um, we are taking uh, the Kona up to a drive, up for a drive, up to Santa Rosa, checking out the um, quick charge capabilities with all the software updates uh, installed for the battery recall. Uh, right now, Flash, Bailey and I are going on a walk. So, uh, because we're going to be in the car for a little bit and uh, driving up to Santa Rosa, like I said, uh, it's going to be about a two hour drive one direction to uh, charge, uh, find out what the charge curve is like and uh, then come back home. pretty beautiful day however uh, this morning it was really cold 6 degrees Celsius about uh, 43 ish or so uh, Fahrenheit uh, in the Sun it's nice and warm uh, but it's still kind of cold uh, the battery of the Kona is only about 10 degrees Celsius uh, so um, I have about 80% state of charge need about 70 to get to the charger so um, probably need some of those 10% to get the battery temperature up so that we can charge at full speed, uh, 75 kilowatt hour, uh, kilowatt. So we just hit the road, um, Flash is excited to ride in the car. Uh, we have about 120 miles in front of us to get to the charger and uh, the battery of the car is about uh, 11 degrees right now. Uh, we need it to be at 25 when we get to the charger in order uh, to get the full charging speed. So we're at the halfway mark, uh, 65 miles into uh, the trip. Um, the battery is about 18, 19 degrees now, so we're getting uh, closer to where we need to be at. Um, yeah, we're in the middle of nowhere here, and uh, we're just pressing on, seeing uh, when we can make it. It should be about uh, an hour longer, and then we're there. battery just reached 25 degrees Celsius which is the temperature that we need to get the max heart rate and uh, we're 13 miles away from the charger so uh, pretty good timing just plugged in uh, at 14% state of charge and the charge rate immediately went up to 71 kilowatt. So there's really nothing uh, you can ask uh, more for than that. Uh, it's perfect. <clears throat> it says it's going to take about 42 minutes to charge to 80%. Uh, we'll see how it looks like and uh, go from there. Uh, so yeah, we'll just let the car charge and uh, Take Flash and Bailey out for a walk. So we just passed um, just under 60% um, and the charge rate dropped to just under 60 kilowatt, which is the normal charge curve of the Kona. So everything's going to plan. So we just passed 80%. Uh, the charge rate dropped down to 25 kilowatts, which is uh, normal. 
Uh, no pause happening here for charging. It just charges on. I'm at 81% now. I'll just wait a couple more minutes um, and see how it goes to 82%. So we just passed 82%, um, still charging at 25 kilowatt. Um, I um, just browsed a little bit the internet and found out today is Earth Day, so I, it looks like I'm not even paying for the charge, which is awesome. So uh, yeah, we're gonna unplug and head home. to the highlighted route, then the route guidance will start. Okay, so we're back home. Um, looking at the charging curve right here, um, what we see is all these blue dots, every single dot is a charge session of myself. Uh, I logged all these sessions um, over the last year or so. Um, and the red one is the one that uh, we charged today. So, as we can see, they line up very, very good. Uh, there's a little exception up there between 50 and 60%. That might actually have been to the battery getting a little bit too warm because it hit the, the uh, maximum there. Uh, so it might have throttled uh, for that reason. Um, I would hope that that is the case. Um, although I don't think it makes a huge difference. The drop there is only like uh, six seven kilowatts it just drops under a 70 kilowatt uh, it's not that big of a deal uh, still uh, pretty much the original charge curve so um, with all the software updates that have been done in preparation for the battery recall uh, as far as i can tell uh, and how uh, i experienced things the dealers that i dealt with were uh, really nice even though they are not EV experienced because uh, they are from Nevada and from New Mexico. So uh, whenever I pull up with my car in, at one of those dealers, uh, they look at it like a unicorn. They've never seen one before. Um, but since it's only software updates, and they always were um, happy to do those uh, and were really nice about it. Um, so I can't really say anything bad about this. Uh, I'm pretty happy uh, with my car and even though I had to drop by dealers a few times, uh, none of the appointments were longer than two hours. So I always stuck around and waited. However, the really bad thing about this is this is definitely not the case for everybody. So Hyundai's communication about this has been really bad. Nobody really knows what's happening. A lot of the dealers don't know what's happening. Uh, they, uh, some dealers haven't even heard about the uh, gift card that is supposed to be sent out if you limit your charge. Uh, all these kind of things. Um, I wish Hyundai Corporate would just uh, communicate a plan and what has to be done at what point 
to all the dealers. So let's keep our fingers crossed that's gonna happen maybe at some point and there's more clarification out there. Other than that, I'm super happy with my car. It's a little bit over two years old now, so nothing bad I can say about it. I hope this video was fun for you. Um, please click like and subscribe down below and um, let me know any questions that you have uh, and any requests you have for videos or anything else. So thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I see you next time. Bye.